In Washington now to the Supreme Court, where tomorrow the court will be taking up the divisive question of affirmative action. ABC's Ika Jachi joins us live from the Supreme Court, explaining the cases dealing with admission policies at two major universities. Good morning to you, Ike. Good morning, Janae. On Monday, the nation's highest court will begin hearing two cases reconsidering the role of race in college admissions. The Supreme Court has had a 40-year precedent permitting the limited use of race in, as one factor in admissions. Right now, roughly 20 percent of four-year public universities consider race during their admissions process, according to Ballotpedia. Now, a conservative advocacy group is asking the justices to reverse course and issue a ban on race-conscious admissions policies nationwide. Now, the case filed against Harvard University contends that its admissions policy discriminates against Asian American applicants, claiming Asian Americans are significantly less likely to be admitted than other similarly qualified applicants. Now, the second case filed against the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill argues that its current race conscious admissions process violates Title VI of the Civil Rights Act and the Constitution, and that its use of race is not limited enough. Now, this is the first test for affirmative action before the current court with its conservative majority, including three justices of color and now the first black woman justice, all tasked with deciding how a university can assemble a diverse student body. Now, the conservative majority is poised to possibly significantly roll back precedent, if not overturn it entirely. Still, a decision isn't expected before late spring. What? I can jot you for us. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.